Welcome to Misunderstood. I know it's been such a long time. It's been a long time since we had lovely conversations and I can submit to you genuinely that I have genuinely missed you guys. I've missed our interaction, but you guys have also not come to play because I acknowledge all of you who've come to my DM and said, Guy, could you listen my YouTube? No, 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 no. I'm here. A lot of things were going on and um, so many things were just happening and I'm so excited to be back. And one of the reasons I'm excited to be back is because in as much as I've been away, I've been reflecting on so many things and I have some exciting projects coming up your way really, really soon. So um, keep it here. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell the world, make noise, share, 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 share. I think the beauty about this platform is that um, you don't watch me, but we have a conversation. And I know that sounds so cheesy, but um, one of my biggest anticipations, one of my greatest anticipation is that you don't just consume this and once the meetings are over, you're done, but it's something that will cause you to reflect, cause you to spark conversations amongst your friends and have meaningful, meaningful conversations that change and impact you in one way or another. So let's get to it. Today's episode is about boundaries. Now, this particular episode is quite personal to me because it's one of the areas that I am constantly being put in a place where I have to work on them. Now boundaries are like um, the proverbial fence, right? So think of yourself in a, a space, like if this was the fence, if this is, this is my boundary, it's like a fence. It's your limitation to certain things, certain people. Now boundaries are placed in different things. They are placed in your relationships, in your um, place of work, in your fa with your family, with your friends, with anybody that you interact with. Boundaries are very, very important. And boundaries are not, um, they're not a dismissive way of putting out people, are putting away guys, but it's just really a way of protecting yourself and also protecting the other people there so that they don't feel like they are i think that's a wrong thought i think the right thought here is boundaries are a protective measure for you first and when you protect yourself you protect others um i've been a victim of boundaries not being placed and losing on friendships um hurting of people um and also for some strange reason maybe i don't know if you're like me but as a result of not setting or communicating clear boundaries, I have been in places where I have hurt people. And many times, guys, when I what happened between us, it's just that I felt like you crossed my boundary and I didn't tell you. And later in life, you realize, oh man, I should have just told you from the beginning. Now, there are different ways of having, of creating these boundaries. And one of the things that I think is so important for us is to realize that first, Creating a boundary is not about selfishness. No, 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 no. Boundaries are not selfish in any way, in any way. In fact, they are a genuine expression of love. Because what I'm showing you is how far is too far for me. It's really my limitations. And sometimes people will think, oh my God, you're so selfish, you're so picky about what you want. But the truth of the matter is, is that when you make a boundary for yourself, then you're allowing people to understand that this is how I would like to be respected and treated. Now, a boundary can mean different things for different people. There are people who feel like a boundary is, um, I don't like being spoken to. I don't let like people raise their voice at me, for example. Um, that's a boundary. And the thing about it is that if you don't communicate a boundary, it's just a feeling you have. And so we're going to be going through this slowly by slowly. But one of the things that I really want us to create is that one, we must create healthy boundaries. The second thing is we must learn how to create boundaries. And finally, it's how to actually activate them, quote unquote. So a healthy boundary is one where you know what is important to you and you write it down. For example, like for me, I'm learning how to write them down where I say, this is what I don't like and this is what I like. And when I realize what those are, I can easily communicate them to people. So for example, I hate, 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 hate with a passion when people are insulting around me. So like you're quick to insult somebody. That's very, 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 it's a very toxic space for me when, you're, when you behave that way. And so for me, that's a boundary I create immediately, immediately. Like, hi, my name is Nyawera. And you know what? I don't want to be insulted. I don't want you to come with insults near me. So that's a boundary I create. But the other thing is that when you know what, what, what um, is of value to you, it's very easy for you to create these boundaries. So you must understand your own value system. And I think that's going to be another video coming really soon because it's something that I'm also learning is that what, what do I really value? 
you know like and sometimes a value is not just your opinion but it's really you know these are the things that are important to me and it's a, it's some strange thing we all know them internally but some some of us don't really know what they are and so i think that's going to be a whole different video but back to our discussion is that first you must accept you must be clear about what is of importance to you and if you already know what those are write them down when you understand what those are you understand that when people cross them or disregard them they have crossed a boundary and crossing a boundary here is to mean that sometimes you can feel it can feel this way and i'm not saying this is the only way it will feel but for me this is how it usually feels i feel disrespected when my boundaries are crossed i feel um mocked i feel devalued i feel unwanted and i don't feel equal in those spaces any moment i feel those feelings personally i realize something something that i value has been crossed so i i don't even play with it they are very clear about what i want the second thing is that you need to communicate your boundaries and that's why it's important to write them or become very clear about what is important to you and just like keep on um reminding yourself about it why you need to communicate it is people need to know beforehand before they cross it what your boundaries are at the beginning of the video i told you guys that one of the things i struggled with completely completely like struggle for struggle is that many a times i don't tell guys what their boundaries are and so when they cross them i feel like mm, nope here yeah, you've hurt me but i want to let you know that you cannot create boundaries when they've already been crossed but also when you realize what your boundaries are communicate them if you're in a place of in your, let's say in your at your place of work um be clear with your colleagues that hey guys um this is what i am this is what i'm about i would rather that you don't do this i would rather that you do this these are the things that matter to me the things that don't matter to me not matter not 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 matter to me but these are the things that matter the most to me with your family particularly you can and you know some guys think that with family you shouldn't have boundaries but in this particular space you need boundaries and i think i'm jumping the gun but i just want to say why family is important to have a boundary is because more times than not people who are closer to you cross those boundaries faster and more aggressively so be clear any relationship that is close to you this could be your intimate relationships let's say with your partner your boyfriend your significant other your best friend um it could be your you know your clique of girls or your boys you know those people need to be aware of the boundaries that you have so that when they cross them they know by they come up to me kosana it's because i did this and this and this and that's a very important another thing you need to be very clear about when you're creating a healthy boundary is accept and normalize saying no you know sometimes it's so easy like let me give you an example of me because i'm a victim of this completely if you call me today 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 now 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 you just pick up your phone and tell me you know let's meet let's go somewhere in a heartbeat i'll say yes if you're very close to me and i love your company but there are people who if you call them they'll say yes because they know they don't make you mad sometimes saying no to certain things and plans and you know and um and things that don't matter to you it's okay to say no to them and why that's important is because sometimes we rush to say yes and then expose ourselves to spaces that we don't like conversations that are so tiresome you come back home you cry in the pillow you know you scrub yourself in the shower just thinking and yet they just wasted my time because in actual sense you couldn't say no accept and normalize saying no and i want to just say this as a huge um, disclaimer when you set your boundaries I want you to understand that boundaries are not a rude gesture of dismissing people. It's actually a protective measure of showing people how much you love them by virtue of loving yourself. You need to love yourself so much that you understand what is important to you so that when other people are showing you love and or not showing you love, you'll know the difference. So normalize saying, you know, um communicate your boundaries beforehand before. That's such a big disclaimer. I think one of the things I fought with either my uh, my partner my partner my husband or <laughs> my husband or my friends is that every time i feel like they've crossed the boundary i feel like i didn't tell you no let me tell you and that's wrong it's not fair people are human and people will make mistakes but don't ambush them with the boundaries if you never told them before um there are different ways to identify and to create your boundaries um as i said earlier you could make a list um of showing like you know this is how i create my boundaries these are what this is and this is how it's like a how to create boundaries segment but this is exactly what you need to do the first thing you need to do is list down what is of most importance to you i call them my treasures so for me my treasures are my time 
It's a huge treasure. If I give you my time, I've really respected you. My, my mind is a huge treasure for me. It's very huge, very important to me because whatever comes into it, if I process a thought for too long, it can waste my time, it can, it can really hurt me or it can really edify me. So those two are very big for me. Another treasure of mine is those that I really love. These are my friends, my, um, my family. Those, those are treasures to me because when I'm around them, they, they know me and they're of importance to me and so I protect them clearly. When you create your list of treasures, it will be easy for you to say that in this area, I will not let certain things be crossed. And that's also a good place to say that when people know that they can't come at you with certain things. For example, for me, as I shared earlier, that my mind is a huge treasure, is that you, if you send me certain things and certain information that is useless, I get very offended because I feel like, hey, this is what you think of me. And again, my mind will start processing what your perception of me is, but in actual sense, I probably never told you, my mind is my safe space. Don't send me nonsense. You know what I mean? And it sounds so harsh, but sometimes you need to be a bit firm about what you feel in certain areas. Another thing you need to do is identify what is of importance to you and what is not of importance to you. Why that's important, particularly the latter of not important to you, is that people don't cross boundaries or hurt you when they cross those boundaries in areas that don't matter to you. For example, um, hmm, that is like, that's not, there's no example there actually. The truth of the matter is, if it's important to you, be clear about it and state it. So that when you identify that, by the way, when it comes to my relationship, don't come at me with certain information or don't come at me with certain counsel. That's very important. So that in the moment of your, um, of your boundary crossing situation with somebody, they'll know that when it comes to this and this area, this person cannot do certain things to me. So identify one, your treasures, right? And these are safe spaces that you have or you've created or things that are of such great importance and you hold them dearly. And then the second thing is identify what crossing those boundaries means for you. So for example, Lisa, if for, I told you guys earlier, for me, one of the boundaries I have is do not be abusive in my space. If you are abusive physically, mentally, verbally, or emotionally, I will not let you in. And if you do any of those things to me, you have crossed the boundary. And more than likely, I feel like boundaries are like a mirror. Um, once they've been crossed, it's like a broken mirror. I'll always see it, but I'll always see the lines in between. So I, I, I would suggest highly that just communicate your boundaries so that you don't have an awkward moment with other people. The other thing is that you need to aggressively communicate them and communicating a boundary is not being rude. I feel like I need to say that over and over and over and over again is that you just need to communicate it. If you are around people you love and people who respect you, then you can tell them what is of importance to you, what you love and what you would respect. So that when they disrespect you or show you absence of love, you un they, they will understand what that means for you. So don't, don't don't under communicate don't not com not don't fail to communicate but be very clear about your boundaries so that at any given moment people understand them um if you are watching this video and you're probably in a place where you're starting out your relationship you know there's a guy who's feeling your vibe or there's a girl who your heart is melting to every other waking moment before you formalize your relationship into any um state I believe that this is a very good time to clearly state your boundaries. This will remove the heartache of being um, being in useless fights, um, offending and hurting each other for no need. Because if you know what is of importance to this other person, then you will respect them. And it will build such a beautiful relationship where you know what matters and what doesn't matter. Um, boundaries are not threats, you know. Don't say that to me. If you do, I'll kill you. That's not a boundary because the boundary there is I would respect it if you do not do this to me. And that's more, more important. So don't come guns blazing when it's already been crossed. Do I think boundaries are a conversation that we're going to have for a long time? Absolutely. Because in every stage of our lives, as I'm learning, um, boundaries change, conversations change, um, value systems increase, people who your treasures become more. And in those situations, you need to be very clear about your boundaries. There's a book 
on boundaries it's actually a book series that is of boundaries i think i'll put in the description um there's boundaries in relationships boundaries in the workplace boundaries in your relationships boundaries in dating boundaries in friendships and boundaries in general i mean this series of books i think i first interacted with boundaries in dating and then boundaries in general and that type of boundaries this type of he breaks down breaks them down into such beautiful detail and i and i i would suggest that if you guys want to read it please check out the description it's gonna be amazing so episode one is done this episode episode one it's been that long can you imagine <laughs> but um boundaries are important protect yourself even the good book tells us you know um guard your heart um for from it flows the matters of life and i think that's so important to know because Give, placing a boundary is like and i, I think I, if you know me personally you know i've told this analogy more than likely is that a boundary is not a closed door a boundary means i can hear you but it, i'll i will regulate how close i can hear you from so it's like if you sit picture somebody on a balcony they're seated where i'm seated and the balcony is right on that side they can you can still hear them talking to you and they can hear you talking back there's somebody who will be talking to you from outside the gate and you're still where you're seated where i'm seated outside the gate and they'll hear you and you can hear them as well but the the proximity is not so close there's somebody who'll talk to you from across the road and you can still hear them and they can still hear you and so the question is normally for any person in any part of your life is who have you placed in certain places and that's very important because the moment you know this person has been placed here they will come this far those boundaries go a long way so that you don't also mix and match your relationships and have wrong expectations from people when they hurt you you realize they actually didn't hurt me they had placed me in this boundary so do i know enough about this absolutely not but i've experienced it enough to have a few thoughts on it so i'm sure you have a lesson or two on boundaries or you feel like i didn't say something that you feel like you can add this is a community so please 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 leave a comment in the comment section let me know what your thoughts were on this video um reach out to me on my social media platforms and let me know what your thoughts are on boundaries i'm happy to have a different conversation with more people about boundaries and just learn more because even i'm very interested to learn how to master the act of um creating and establishing and maintaining healthy boundaries so till next time i love you guys um and yeah hopefully see you soon